Down goes John Bolton. Down goes John Bolton. Down goes John Bolton. Okay, super happy about this. Uh, Donald Trump's national security advisor, John Bolton, has been fired slash resigned. Uh, we'll have more details, uh, obviously, on the show tonight, uh, 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Don't check it out at tyt.com. Let me give you uh, my instant analysis of why I love this so much. So, number one, the constant anarchy and chaos coming out of the Trump administration. It is endless, 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 endless. I told you he couldn't manage his way out of a wet paper bag. Total incompetent buffoon. The way that it uh, breaks down is, tr last night apparently Bolton told him he wants to resign. Uh, they've obviously had massive disagreements on policy. I'll get to that in a second as to who's right or wrong. Uh, Trump goes, no, 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 let's talk about it tomorrow. And then this morning, either Trump then goes, ha ha, you're fired. I didn't let you resign. Hey, how you doing? I'm in New York. So people are saying hi. Anyway, or uh, Bolton, in one version of the story, hands Trump the resignation this morning anyway. And then Trump goes, oh yeah? 28 minutes later on Twitter, you're fired. I don't accept your resignation. You're fired, right? So usual insanity from Donald Trump. Uh, I don't know when it's ever going to get through to MAGA. The guy's a total incompetent uh, clown. But it doesn't matter if it gets through to him or not. Independence, you know. You know he's a buffoon. An ignoramus of the largest order. All right, we're moving on. Then John Bolton goes out and goes, oh yeah? Uh, I, he didn't fire me, I resigned. He says it publicly. He's going around calling every reporter as we speak right now and telling them, hey man, I didn't get fired, I resigned. That guy, he doesn't know what he's doing. He And he invited the Taliban here, et cetera, et cetera. You think a, a, some bitch like John Bolton is gonna go quietly into that good night? No, there's gonna be a lot of shots fired. They're neocons, they're gonna go to war. <laughs> Super obvious. And guys, uh, Joe from Brooklyn in a meetup we did last night in, in New York gave me a hat that says tick, 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 tick. How, much, how many different factions of the GOP can Trump bludgeon before they start fighting back? And so I know that that camel has taken a lot of straws on his back, but at some point there's going to be a final straw. So now John Bolton and all the neocons are going to be on fire against the Trump administration. So they're gonna attack, 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 both behind the scenes and now apparently somewhat publicly. So I love this GOP on GOP crime, and it leads to Trump being ousted uh, quicker. So wonderful, okay? So that's good news number two. Now let's get to the best news, which is John Bolton was a monster. Uh, between the uh, Trump and Bolton on policies, I'll actually take Trump. Trump uh, is nominally a little less for war. Now the reality is he has no gu guiding philosophy or principles. Trump will go to war too, and it'll be based on his ego rather than any policy positions, etc. But with Trump, it's a little bit more of an open question, and at least he promised to be anti-war in his campaign, and some of his base is actually anti-war. With John Bolton, war is a certainty. He was dying to go to war with Iran, and every day that he was in the Trump administration, there was a, a higher likelihood of going to a total unnecessary war with Iran, let alone North Korea, let alone every other place that John Bolton wants to invade. So the fact that John Bolton's out of the White House without starting any wars is the best news of all. So between John Bolton and Donald Trump, who's guilty? The correct answer is both. They're guilty in different ways. Uh, Trump is much more unstable, believes in democracy less, is a threat to our constitution and our form of government, but John Bolton is a guaranteed debacle, a guaranteed war if he got his way, and a guaranteed gigantic failure and what would have been a world destabilizing war. So it's a great day in America that John Bolton is out. So guys, if you want more information on this, make sure you tune in tonight to our main show at six o'clock Eastern, either on youtube.com slash TYT or tyt.com. And if you want to get all of our coverage, become a member and get all of it anytime you want at tyt.com slash join. But right now, let's all celebrate, baby. Down goes Bolton. Down goes Bolton.